If you come to my painting classes, um, it's likely we're going to talk about slowing down. There's a few reasons for this, uh, but the primary reason is about observation. We're not too good at observing things with our minds. Uh, we're very good at observing with our eyes. Um, if you like, even if you wear glasses like myself, you can see pretty well. Your eyes um, are quite good. In fact, uh, I believe your eyes can see down to the photon level, um, even though you may not quite be aware of it. So I've read. So we can see pretty well with our eyes. Uh, but what do we comprehend with our mind? That's the thing. So at my painting and drawing classes, uh, it's not so much concentrating on, on this, but more concentrating on this, observing with our mind. Um, and that's a harder process, and to do that, we need to slow down uh, in what we're looking at and what we're observing, and take some time. Now, we also need to slow down in our actual work if we're you know, going really fast. Um, um, we will miss subtlety and um, we, we often see people working very fast, professionals, and we think, well, I want to work like that, you know, it looks very easy. But that kind of thing comes after a long time of practice, when you really know what you're doing. And that's when your observation has taken over and then it becomes instinct, because you're seeing something far more clearly. And then your hand can, your mind can keep up with your hand. But before that, your mind may not be able to keep up with your hand. Your hand can do this great, uh, but can you control? Sometimes people come to me and uh, they say, I want to do something easy. And they show me something like a, a Monet painting. And um, I have to break them the bad news. Even though the painting looks like it's being done like that, and it was, uh, that level of um, skill only comes after decades of intense observation. And um, I have seen a, an old film of Monet actually painting out in his garden. And it's, it's an amazing thing to watch because when you watch him, he's working like this. He's painting and he's looking, looking at the garden, a few strokes, looking, 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 a few strokes. He spends maybe 80% of his time looking, 20% of the time touching the canvas. And that's even when he's a master. Uh, that's something my art teacher told me too when I was very young. He said, look for an hour, draw for a minute. Um, interestingly, in my life drawing classes, I'm trying to slow people down as well and talk about the, the power of observation, the power of looking and looking and looking and the more you look, the more you see. And that will go on for months. You can look at the same thing and you can not see something for months. And then months later you go, how could I not have seen that? And there's a big thing now uh, in life drawing about the two minute sketch, the five minute sketch, you know, doing things really, really fast. The loosening up exercise. Um, there, are, there is some advantage to those things. But if you're learning to draw doing things fast and loosening up, it's not going to help you very much. You're already loose. What you need to learn is some control. And um, that needs the power of observation. And there are, there are tools to do that. There are methods to do that. This is not innate talent. This is not magical. Um, some people may be born with that talent. Uh, but it is never full. I mean, no, no three-year-old can draw like Rembrandt, paint like Rembrandt. Uh, it still always needs developing, no matter how talented you may appear when you're young. And if you observe a young person, maybe a five-year-old who's a bit of a prodigy who can draw very, very well, you'll still see in their life they're obsessed, they're doing it all the time, they're practicing all the time, they're zeroed in on it. There's a lot of practice. It doesn't just fall out of the air magically. Uh, it's a lot of work. So we can learn these, there are all kinds of skills and processes that you can actually learn about how to paint and draw and apply them. And over time they become 
more unconscious, more instinctive. And you don't need to think about them so much all the time when, when you're doing it. So we talk a lot about, um, about learning to see here, not just here. Uh, we also talk a lot about, of course, mixing colors, um, you know, what brushes to use, what mediums to use, um, art history, a whole range of things like that, of course. Um, but the most important thing, by far, is seeing mentally.